Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 Playoffs. First round match between uh, Anton AVT and his Nurgle and Enzo and his Lizardmen. In the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello! Hello! Oh. I'm assuming it's Anton of the like, astronaut. Oh yeah, of course. I knew that. <laughs> I'm seeing as he's Russian. <laughs> the V and the U are kind of... I think it, the, the V is actually a Russian U. Or something. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> Whatever it is, um, he's got he's got Nurgle. Yeah, he's got Nurgle with double L's, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's interesting. He's got quite a lot more TV than Enzo. He's got a core mighty guy to try and kill Saurus, and he's got a strength five blitz with mighty blow and tackle. So that obviously can two D a Saurus unassisted, or it can three D a skink. So he's got an amazing skink smasher because all of the all of the Saurus are called skink, and all because all you have to do is just kill the skinks. Um, and yeah, Enzo had a lot of inducement money, and he hasn't yep. got a bench. He's got a wizard. And a babe, and is he? Oh, he must have got a must have got an extra reroll and kickoff. Yeah, I'm I, I thought he's done uh, more I TV than that. Do. Oh, it's because he's got three skinks. He was thirteen eighty TV, so I, had, yeah, I thought exactly, he had loads yeah. of inducements, but he's got three three lone skinks. So he's actually got yeah. a pretty decent team. It's, it's a better team than you would have thought. For. It, it is. It is a decent uh, Soros team. Like the Soros are all very well developed, right? Um, but and he has the super skin, but yeah, there's no depth at all. And yeah. uh, while Antonov's Nurgle team is uh, very bare bones, it's got the tools to just kill him. Yeah, like that's the thing. It doesn't matter how how good your team is. You only get one blitz a turn, don't you? And he's going to yeah, get the yeah. blitz with either Claw Mighty or uh, or Mighty Tackle. So. It'll be yeah. interesting to and yeah the, yeah there's there's a there is a really good skink and there's a wizard, um so yeah it's interesting but yeah no depth it's gonna be an interesting match, no no oh my god that's amazing Bessel, <laughs> oh my god that's that is actually amazing and yeah Lona skinks are great like that because you know they've already got reroll for dodge anyway which is yeah. Pretty much all you ever do with skinks, so yeah, Lona skinks yeah. are one of the best loners. And also, it's not—it's not even that bad that you're starting with eleven men on your on your team. But that's the thing a lot of people say about, like you know, loner um, loner elves are good, and it's like, well, I like elves to do something, and it means you've exactly. only got eleven players on your team if you've got elves, uh, loner yeah. elves, which isn't great, is it? No. Whereas loner, what are they called? Uh, loner longbeards, I think, are the best. Because it's totally fine to have um, 11 dwarves on your team. And obviously they've all got block and all they do is block. <laughs> so, yeah. so I think without... Yeah, the only thing that you can't re-roll there is a 1 in 36, which is a lot better than 1 in 6, right? Yeah. Uh, which is what the elves have to re-roll. Like, yeah, yeah I, I, I agree that uh, I hate having loner elves. It's just you get used to it because they die. Yeah. Um, but they're not. I mean, they're not as bad as some other races, but they're still pretty bad. Yeah. The thing with the Lone and Norse is it means you've got an 11 man Norse team, right? Which is inherently very risky. Whereas an 11 man yeah. Lizard Man team is, feels, feels less risky to me. Yeah, because like the, the loners are the skinks, like the positionals are the Zoros, right? Yeah. The Zoros are what, um, what you need to win the team, especially like here. When when there is one skink that will always carry the ball, like there is no other skink he's ever picking up on, right? Mm -hmm. So then not the by choice. Of... <laughs> no, exactly. But it, I mean that means that the the shit skinks that are there to protect the good skink doesn't matter if there is or not, right? Yeah. So what's he do here? He's, he wants to blitz with him, which means he's got to put in the assist here. So I guess he doesn't activate the beast. And he just puts this guard in and then blitzes with a claw mighty. Blitz, blitz him with a claw mighty. That seems the, the play, doesn't it? Yep. Correct! Imgur is so good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> 
oh, amazing. I mean, this was a pretty basic thing, wasn't it? But, you know, so sometimes I call out things, which is quite... What I, what I particularly liked was calling out that it was going to be a really long turn for Elliot and he was going to think for like a minute before he moved and then he thought for a minute before he moved. I thought that was really good. I thought that was the best thing I've, I've done commentary-wise. <laughs> And that just means that you know Elliot very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, so yeah, I, I, I like at first I like not activating the beast, but now that he didn't get the push, I would have activated him to move him across. I would have tried to move him one one across. Um, yeah, um, I can sort of see why he didn't want to like it. Moving it one space like isn't is often not really worth it to, to have it like entirely isolated because like if that beast goes stupid the blitz is always coming on that type of player right yeah to put the pressure on her on the side glorious yeah. no, so I so i kind of not liking the, uh, <laughs> the activating the beast here also if defend. he does put that beast one defend. square across like also and so still blitzing and so we're still blitzing that flick so. Yeah, I mean, I just don't mind. I don't mind that guy. Well, you you can move him one across, right? Then you can move this guy. If like if you if, whether you activate or not, right, you can still move him afterwards. Because the thing is, yeah. it protects all of this. Like move him in across one. So you, if you push this guy, then you've got him holding the outside. But with with not pushing him, I really like putting him in to protect all of this. So I really I really like moving one across. But then yeah, and then if you moved him, then you can just tuck this guy in behind, can't you? Or, or back or or anything if you if you if you get him activated. Um, right, somebody sub there. What's this? Ace Flamingo, thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 26 glorious months. Unbelievable. What a community member. Glorious. Absolute leg end. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Enzo's Blitz doesn't work because uh, Nergo are absolute garbage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's annoying when, 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 they're, uh, when, when the ugliness triggers, isn't it? Triggered by ugliness, not like Kalon. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, just because he's like, just because he was the, the another thing, wasn't he about the, you know, the thing. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't calling Kalon ugly, by the way, in case that, in case that's what anybody thought. It's with the whole thing of when I, him going on, he was going on and on and on because I called people attractive, wasn't he? Which was apparently the worst thing I could have ever done. You're not allowed to call anybody attractive if they're attractive. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> it's a fucking disgrace. Bit, it's a but... fucking disgrace to call it. But is he, okay, this is good. This is good. He did the right thing. He didn't blitz the skink. Uh, well, yes. it's called skink. but um, And then that gives him... He gets to put in the guard here, doesn't he? And then 2D, 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 which is perfect. Yeah. The only thing was I wouldn't have blitzed with this guy. <laughs> I would have I would have blitzed with somebody else somehow. Um, maybe he had to blitz with that guy. No, he didn't. He could. Have, I could. Have, I would have just blitzed without Mighty Blow just to just to have not exposed him. Um, but maybe maybe this is good protecting with a stand firm beast. Yeah, it's, thing is like there's no guard available for Anselm to 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 punch that even if they have to move the biggest then, right? Mm -hmm. Um so he's he's the by being strength four. Um but yeah. now he's super protected, so problem solved. Yeah, very a very protected beastman. Oh god the boom. Yeah, foul appearance in 2020 is really weird, isn't it? Yeah, they just don't get to move at all. He's left the ball a little bit exposed here. I would have rather had him tucked in behind the LOS, which I normally don't like, but now it would put you next to the tackle and everything, which would be, and the beast and stuff. I think it would be quite important to be in behind all of this stuff right now. A lovely claw might It's not here. like foul appearance, like you're going to encounter it very often in 2020 since Nurgle won't be a thing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's that's a good point, actually. No one's going to have foul appearance in 2020. <laughs> yes. Yes, James. <laughs> Thanks, yes, that's pretty obvious. Um, though it depends. It To be fair, when PC said it, he said regular Blood Bowl streamer. So he did qualify. He did qualify it to not have to say Tren. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
thanks, Neuros. Neuros is there. Look, see, Neuros is best uh, best chat member. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, another highly valued community member. <laughs> yep. Yep. Flattery gets you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. I, I I'm very very fond of flattery. Like what James just said. Like <laughs> Daedal would get it. I mean, in the entire world. I mean, Daedal would get it. Is not, not not the nicest bit of flattery, but it's it's good enough, I guess. <laughs> it's definitely the best I've had today. No, second best. Yeah. Rick said he liked me earlier today as well. I don't think the most attractive blood bowler is a low bar, actually, Pedro. I, I think that's I think that's completely untrue. When you consider who the most attractive blood bowl streamer is, <laughs> then that makes it not a low bar. But in gen I guess second most attractive blood bowl is a low low bar. <laughs> I think that's fair to say. <laughs> But yeah, PC does have the best voice, yeah. Incredible. Incredible voice, PC. Fua. Yeah, the perfect amount of scotch in that voice. Fua. Perfect amount of smoking. <laughs> a guy in tabletop has taken two Saurus and a Crocs. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What a loony. Is it is it low on like figures? And you're not allowing the whole Kalen method of solving that problem? Because <laughs> <laughs> I would see why that would make him choose that lineup. Yeah, it's weird because generally people would like go a Crocs and like no Norsaurus, right? Some people do Crocs and Skinks as like a thematic thing because they're like fun havers and stuff. But like it's really weird to just have two Saurus, isn't it? Like that that's yeah. that's really weird. Yeah, that, that and that's fair, Pedro, yeah, that's fair. In the average like room full of blood ballers, <laughs> the average group of blood ballers, the most attractive one is likely to be not very attractive. Yes. That is also true, Rubino, but, <laughs> like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you could win with 11 snotlings and yes. no inducements. It would be possible, but <laughs> it's not it's not a good Why idea. Why you reduce your chances like that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, the fucking guy who had Wood Elves without war dancers and he beat me twice. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't really criticise anybody's builds now, I guess. <laughs> I lost to some horrible build as well once. I remember now what it was. My most memorable one was uh, the first time I played against 16 zombies, and he had 8 rerolls and took to Jeff. <laughs> So we went to 9 and 10 rerolls respectively. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That would be alright on tabletop now, wouldn't it? Could you just yeah. pull in a turn? <laughs> <laughs> I'll still vamp. I was thinking of doing a vampire team with an all vamps because I've, I had a hobgoblin team on Fumble which did quite well. Just like pure hobgoblins. Yeah. And then I thought I could do I could do all thralls because then you get Cheney, don't you, as an inducement. Like that's that's mm. that's just better than all hobgoblins. Mm. I guess you could have one vampire. It'd be kind of crazy not to have one vampire, wouldn't it? And then if you're gonna have one you might as well have two for the sage meme. Exactly. <laughs> might as well <laughs> Might as well go full sage meme two vamp team. I should do that. I should do that one season here. Eh? Do a fucking <laughs> Do a fucking sage yeah. meme team. This is a very dodgy turn now, isn't it? For somehow he's got everyone caught in a fight. This tends to happen against uh, Saurus, uh, well, not Saurus, Lizard Men, in that you get in a big scrap and then all of the strength, you've put, got to commit so many players to get the hit, then all of a sudden you don't have enough men back to protect the ball and the, the skinks come round the back and you're in yeah. trouble. Uh, he's got a lot of Enzo's players tied up uh, and the good thing is that the ball is on lodge yeah. um, so getting it out won't be easy but getting it out with a wizard is an 84% chance 
So. Yes, yeah, the wizard is very, very dangerous. This turn. like it's this turn is super dangerous. He can free this. He can free this Saurus, so he's got to cover around this side. Maybe you just run all the way back. Maybe you just run all the way back. Because if you go to the middle, the wizard's devastating with a, with a with a skink here and like being able to blitz this guy. So the middle's super weak. The the right hand side's super weak. And he just goes in the middle. We could see. Well, I think we will see the wizard now. This seems a great wizarding opportunity, doesn't it? You just blitz this guy and you straight through. And so it's uh, sometimes slightly conservative. Um, he, uh, <clears throat> last night, he said that three pluses are absolutely terrifying, which I agree with. Yep. Three pluses fail all the time. So. But Oof. there we go. That's the wizard. Ah, no armor break. Breaking that armor would have been lovely, but can't really complain so far with the re lack of armor breaks, right? Um, yeah. So. If you put a pause, then one, two, three, four, five, six, there is seven, eight. A lot of work to do to get this one well. safe. Uh, Dodge. You can have a screen with this. This guy can screen. Like this Saurus can screen 100%. One, two, well, two, three, four, five, six. He can get there. He could come round. Well, you say 100%. There is there's literally nothing he can do 100%. No, uh, yes, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, like, uh, all right. <laughs> this this skin can come through pretty easily. One, two, three, four. Like one dodge. So it's, it is tackle. It is tackle. But it's pretty easy to get him through. Pretty easy to get him through. So you can, you can get a few things to screen it. I had a, I, I also had an all orc lineman team on Fumble, all dirty players. I had like nine dirty players or something. <laughs> yeah, I played uh, last season, I think. I played Kruppi, who played an all dirty player build uh, Norse team. Nice. Ooh, non-knockdown is big. Uh... Because that makes him go it further. Because he's got to go, he's got to go like past now, right? Because he he can't go through these two. Like he can't go through this square. He could, he was going to go through these two squares, whereas now I guess he can move still. One, two, three. But it's an extra dodge, isn't it? Yeah, it just adds an extra dodge. So it, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't change. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. But it's an extra dodge. And it's extra dodge for this guy. Does it's, mean it's no Saurus uh, uh, on the ball carrier either? Uh, the nerdy ball carrier. Yep. Yep. This is that. Yeah, it would have been really nice to get the knockdown. This is a bit of a disaster. Yeah. Now we're looking at a lot of repulsing to mm. to give any form of protection. Yeah. Does, mm. it, does he pit with a croc? No, he, crocs is way too risky, isn't it? You just gotta make a million rolls. Oh, he's double one. He's double one. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, but but he, yeah, you couldn't you couldn't because he could have not stood firm as well. So I guess actually you couldn't hit him because even if you if you pushed him, you'd like you can't push him there or there. So you'd have to push him there. Yeah. And, and that would be a bit shit as well. So I guess. Even the pushes were like the power would be great because it would free him up, but um, yeah, well, that that is a nightmare. That double one. I think what you're looking at was a late uh, cross hit on the, uh, the outside there. Uh, yes, to free him. That that was the obvious thing, wasn't it? Yeah, you block him and then then this gets you a Saurus rather than that. But I was just thinking, like you know, I wonder if it'd be good to power him, but it would, the push would be horrific because he, he he could even not stand firm and it would just yeah, be, exactly. It would be terrible. Then you have to put the. Uh, I mean, I guess you can push the uh, strong boy one step to the right back, so it wouldn't actually be on the ball, but it would still be so bad. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd just be a lot worse. It just it would just make everything a lot worse if you pushed him. I think, but I was because I was trying to think like you know because you hadn't powered this guy on the blitz. That's what I was thinking. I wondered if like the you know the, you could modify your plan, which is something that a lot of people don't do. Is like you know like they don't adapt as to how the game's going and like. Obviously, because you've bolted, like you want to like take advantage and everything that turn, but sometimes maybe you shouldn't, and you should modify your plan based on how the dice have gone. 
Yeah. And I was wondering if he should. It wasn't much to do though. I think he I think he modified well enough. Yeah, no, I think I think it wasn't right to do that here, but I think you should consider, right? You should always yeah, yeah. consider if, if yeah, definitely. If no, I, I agree with the general statement that people don't modify their plans uh, enough uh, for for early failures. Like, oof, he hit the skinks. Um, no, <laughs> it's because he wasn't called Saurus. His armor broke. <laughs> oh, that was that was a, yeah, that was a real scary scary Oof, failed yeah. pickup would have been. But now, but now the, the super foul. stink is dead. No, don't do the hit first. Okay, we'll do the hit first if you're not going to one in nine. Now do the foul. Do the foul. Yeah, that's an insane hit first. Only a kill. Survives. Yeah, that is huge. That means that the uh, game isn't over. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and we get the send off as well, so uh, the Nurgle are kept at uh, 11. And uh, mm -hmm. the good news for Enzo uh, in this nightmare uh, after that last turn getting his super removed is that he's also kept at 11 still. There. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, that was terrible, wasn't it? Wizard spunked, Super Skink gone, but um, there's only three turns left, and there's, there's just still a fair yeah. amount of field to cover. And yeah, he hasn't he hasn't taken any removal. Yeah, exactly, he could even stop the score here from from this position. So like, it's it's definitely not over. Um, but but yeah, obviously you're 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 sad and have to. Yeah, it's not great, is it? It's not great, but it's not it's not over. Don't say it's over. Don't say it's over. Oh man, the foul appearance. Killer, <sighs> the killer foul appearance. Yeah. Um, Mises is getting another shot at that um, just for free. And then... Well, at least that's a knockdown. I think you gotta try to punch the beast. Yeah. Try to get anything uh, here, um, like <laughs> value wise. Hey, um, good old tentacles. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> well, Enzo succeeds with something <laughs> that is, uh, well, just something. <laughs> he hasn't succeeded with much so far. <laughs> no. So what do you but, yeah, again, like, punch things. Antena hasn't succeeded with a whole lot either. Uh, so it's been, it's been a little bit of a weird one. Yeah. And I think it, I think a lot of it is is down to the fact that this uh, the Zoros team is rather well built, right? Um, yeah. The, yeah, the amount of guard um, <laughs> this Zoros <Soros> team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it really is. Right? Yeah, that, that's uh, what it is. Even even more than usual. What I like here is I like putting in this guarder there, and then the guard might here, like because he's he's just. Oh, sorry, I'm not watching you. So I can't see what you're uh, <laughs> Like, oh no, because yeah. this the, the the mighty blow guard had enough move to get wherever this guy's gonna go. Probably, I imagine he's gonna put him in here or here or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. He's yeah, I think that guy. was uh, not enough guard value. Uh, Oof. See, what I would have done is I would have put in the guard here so that you oh, can, so that you can make the. Yeah, I would have put in the guard there so I could have punched the Saurus yeah, with the warrior, yeah. and then I could have blitzed the skink on three D. But this is yeah, this is okay because he wanted to get up and and passed a bit. So it's it's tr it is tricky. It is tricky. It's, it's still the tricky. Roll there means that he can't really make any G if I still right. So mm. uh, but it's only turn six. He's only got to be forward one square with the ball. But it's it's getting a bit dodgy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he only has to be that, but then, like... Because going further is risky, isn't it? Like, you can yeah. move there, you can, you can come quite... He doesn't have to GFI, does he, to be fair? He can, he can, he can come here and, and it's pre-screened. And this guy can go for... He can make, like, one GFI with a Noble Warrior. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. PC would make that GFI, wouldn't he? I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Without even thinking about it. I mean, he'd pretend to think about it for two minutes and then he'd just <laughs> put it in. He'd pretend to. He does spend a lot of time thinking. 
dizzy. Mm. And then you can like almost always just guess what he's gonna do anyway. He's <laughs> mm. <laughs> gonna dodge out all the dwarves and make all the cheer fights. <laughs> <laughs> You know, did you yeah, see I, the results of? Sorry, you know, you know the European Championships in Malta. Is that what it was? The uh, the Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team. No, I haven't seen anything. Team England only finished eleventh. Huh. That's behind uh, Cock and uh, Sick and uh, who else was on their team? Oh, were they Somewhere. the Corsairs? Were they? It could be. Yeah. That does sound like them, right? Swashbuckling. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Eleven was on their team as well. Mm. Eleven super low for, uh, for Team England. Yeah, they're the best team in the world, aren't they? Yeah, I thought so. And Kfog was on it, wasn't he? Like, so Kfog had turned up. Euroball, that's what it is, not European Championships. <laughs> Euroball. <laughs> yeah, Ryan McNaughton, yeah, Team Denmark won without Kvog, like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? What is up with that? What is, like, on it? oh, wow, oh, oh, wow, oh, man. He finally makes that block, the 100%, you know, that I said earlier. <laughs> he finally makes that hit to free him, and then it's a, it's a 1 in 81, and, and kind of more than that, because he had to, he, well, less, I guess, because he could have failed the... It's technically less than a one in eighty-one because he could have failed the loner, but um, but the fact that he made the loner as well made the actual result uh, kind of less likely. Even worse. So the fail was more likely than one in eighty-one, but the result was less likely than one in eighty-one. Yeah, so yeah, now that makes it a uh, pretty, pretty uh, simple to. Uh, well, to get done uh, the this nightmare of a half is almost over, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the good news for us. So. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna hope that nothing dies. Wow. Oh god, you had to boom. <laughs> no, it's okay. It was you talking about K Fog, that's okay. <laughs> oh no, oh no, Kalon, you weren't. Oh no, you were Kalon. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> ah <laughs> I thought we were still on K Fog. <laughs> yeah, Ali Red. That is mad, isn't it? That Denmark won without Kfog, like, because you know, no offense to the rest of Denmark, or or anything, but oh, surely he's the best Danish player, and like, surely he's the best English player, and surely on, uh, he'd be the best French player or the best Italian player or anything, you know? Like, it's, yeah, he's just one of the best players in the entire world, right? So. Yeah. Um, didn't bother blitzing the was, was Zeros there for Team Denmark? Do you know? No idea who was on Team Denmark. The Denmark could have like Denmark could have Ducky and Muldripster, which is wild, isn't it? Like I've, I've got yeah. no idea who they have. Like I'm sure I'm well, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure those two wouldn't be on Team Denmark. But like it's mad that <laughs> it's mad that they they could have had them. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it wasn't Euroball. Euroball's got different groups. Niagara was there for Team Sweden, I think. Was it Euroball? Or was it? What What was the recent tournament? Was it Euroball? Yeah, Euroball. It was Euroball. No, it doesn't but say like need, Team England or anything on this you sheet. You need to uh, need to know. Niagara yeah, was invited by the Swedish team. To join Team Sweden. But Seabros is a regular on. The Danish. No. Oh, I'm looking at the Euro Bowl. I'm looking at Europe, and I think, right, Euro Bowl. Here we go. We've got Tank 
Right, Denmark is tank, justicium, uh, and then it's not working anymore. Fuck me, this shitty fucking <laughs> website. Mr. Cappuccino. <laughs> Triple Skull. Oh, that Oh, well, <laughs> somebody called... <laughs> I guess he's called J-E-W, but it's because it's in capitals. <laughs> That's a strange username, isn't it? And then Madvig. <laughs> and Miss Sweden. Miss Sweden playing for Denmark. Miss Sweden is actually a dude, of course. Topper. <laughs> Top is good, isn't he? Top is. I know top is good, and I know triple skull is good. Um, and just it seems good. So yeah, to be fair, Denmark's got a lot of good players, even without having Muldripster and Ducky, which they could have, and Kfog that they could have. Like Denmark could be incredible, couldn't they? Like I mean, they're already the champs, but like they could have been. E like it's mad that they could have been even better. <laughs> like quite a lot better. I don't know how good the other people are, but like I'm sure Kfog's better than their worst player. <laughs> <laughs> so snaked another dodge. Wow. Don't snake dodges. That was a this, one was, this one was a fireplace. <laughs> but he, he did snake it just for like <laughs> extra effort. <laughs> <laughs> removal? Another removal? This one is a cast, so no one's was capped. <laughs> yep, and he can blitz with he can blitz a skink look. Yeah. And that means he can get a 3D on a skink as well, because he can push him away. Lovely. Doesn't kill a skink or oh. Tragedy. Oh, another Kaz. Oh, wow. What a turn. Oh, Enzo's. It's looking bleak for Enzo, isn't it? Yeah. That's four skinks removed. Two permanently. This was. Uh... From uh, from playing really well, uh, putting up like the the exact resistance that you could and should uh, expect, like everything just fell apart over two turns. Yeah, yeah, that snake wasn't it? The snake just fucked in. That was it. Rolling trash for three straight turns. Well, oh, he's got the babe, hasn't he? So he's back up to nine. But yeah, it's going to be real yeah. hard, real hard for uh, Enzo now. And uh, I mean. Bright side, it is two loner skinks that are gone. Like, taking that for the attrition that you took from the Nurgle Drive, like, yeah, they it, they were two out of three last hits out of half, and that feels shitty, but you still take that over any Soros cast or anything else, like, with the dirty player foul on the super skink. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it could have been it worse, is. but it's still it's still pretty fucking bad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah still... The wizard is gone, and he's still one 0 down. It's, that's the really really shitty part. Yep. Yeah. And uh, hello, Ali Raider. Hello, McNaughton. Um, and anybody else I've missed? But yeah, interesting Euro Bowl, isn't it? But yeah, my God, the Denmark team must must be like, like you know, and I've I've heard a lot of like I've heard of I've heard of everybody on the team, but like, it's it's mad that like you could improve it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you can sort them by the group. Oh, that's good. So, what was Team England? Pete W, Pipey, I don't know who Pipey is. Pod Free Purple Goo. Lycos, Kfog, Joe Manji, Gegster. Like, that's the usual team, isn't it? Pretty much. I don't know who Pipey is. But, but that's pretty much the usual team, I guess. I mean, I don't think they're the six best players in England. Or seven, or eight. <laughs> eight players, one, two, three, four. Yeah, eight players. I don't even think they're the best eight players in England, but they're the, like, the... They're the crew that go there, aren't they? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Which is fair enough, isn't it? They go to all the events, and they're all mates. So it makes sense. Why is Kfog a traitor? He's not a traitor, is he? He's just he lives here now, so I guess that's why 
He's on there. There's probably more. There's probably goes to like more events that could be Team England. Than... Has he got an English passport? Probably. He linked the website. Uh, yeah. Oh, is it just durable.eu? Um, no, no, there's, there's a thing here. I'll, I'll post it. How are you looking? <laughs> there's, there's the link. Pipey. Yeah, no, I just didn't. I, well, at the time that I went to, like, you know, some tabletop events, I don't think he was part of Team England then. Well, maybe he was. But I, I never saw him. I don't know who he was. Oh, he organised UKTC. Uh, I went to UKTC, so I guess it just wasn't playing in that with, it, if, with him organising it. So that's probably why he wasn't on that Team England, at least. When is my win versus PC scheduled? Uh, tomorrow, 2000 UTC. Oh. Hello, Yudi. Is it? 411? Worse than 411, isn't it? I guess that's alright, because it's all Swiss. I mean, I didn't expect him to be shit. <laughs> if he's on Team England, he's not going to be... Like, he's not going to have... He's not going to be 200, 200, 400 and be on Team England, is he? I just didn't know. I just hadn't heard of him before. Not that that means anything. I mean, yeah, it's obviously better than most people's, yeah. I'm sure it's better than most people's. I imagine it's not better than K-Fog's, but it might be, I guess. Depends, doesn't it? Like, it, it's way better than mine. My, my, my NAF record is horrendous, because I just I got drunk every single event I've been to. <laughs> I haven't really taken any of them very seriously, trying to, you know, try my hardest. Except UKTC, with it being a team. Funnily enough, with UKTC being a team, a team event, that's when I didn't try as hard, which is stupid because you should try more to be selfish, shouldn't you? And in a team event, you shouldn't care as much because you can be covered by the rest of your team. It's like what you know, what it should be. But most people try harder in team events, don't they? Because they don't want to let people down. But instead of which is stupid because you should care more about letting yourself down, shouldn't you? Like it's a it's a funny attitude that everyone has. Like, maybe it's all related oh, to like you know. Really. <laughs> yeah, it's funny though, isn't it? Maybe it's all just related to like you know hunting and stuff, or like you know being like you know, you know like evolution and that in it with like you know having to, having to keep the tribe alive and stuff. Maybe it's all related to that. But it, most people are like that, I think. They they don't let their teammates down, but don't give a shit about themselves. It's a nice community. Mm. Yeah, Hammers. I mean, I wasn't saying anything bad. I just, I just haven't heard of him. You know, there's like most people in tabletop I haven't heard of, but like obviously Jim, Joe Manji. I agree. I'm stupid letting myself down. <laughs> <laughs> <Relatable>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Podfrey's barely played online, has he? Like that's that's really weird. And then, but then he, I remember him like back in the day, you know, play, oh wow, look at that, triple both down. I remember him playing, you know, like he played all of the 40k, all the 40k tournaments and all it's the Warhammer tournaments. Awful. So he's just good at games. He's one of those people who's good at games, is Podfrey. I think the Crocs rolled pushes once and then is rolled both downs on the rest of his dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he, he went from he went from a one in eighty one to a one in twenty seven. What a, what a <laughs> shit Crocs! <laughs> and now he could get a bit of a blitz and a bit of pressure if if he wanted. I think it's, that's really risky though, like with Nurgle. Yeah, uh, I yeah, guess probably best just to claw mighty things. 
there is a skin kit open if you want to see this one. But he's gonna have to take it without my bomb. No, I think it's definitely better to just claw mighty like either this this Saurus or this Saurus, right? Just claw mighty yeah. one of those two. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess since you've already got the assist there, you just claw mighty this one. But you could put in like the you could put in the beast and claw him, right? it doesn't matter, does it? I guess whichever whichever way you want. The thing here is like Enz is gonna have to roll, start rolling shit dice <laughs> and seeing that is good dice haven't worked. Uh, well, it doesn't put the beast in there. I I think that would have been preferable. because uh, like then you're really locking Enzo down. Yeah, uh, maybe yeah. Well yeah, he goes for the beast. Well uh, mm. I mean trading I think I don't. I'm not sure <clears throat> about the value of that trade. No, it doesn't look great, does it? I'd much rather trade my beast for two Soros. Mm. Goblin Town's weird at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, are you in it, Daedal? Uh, I can't decide. I just hate the Goblin Mirror. <laughs> The, the the weird thing about Goblin Town tournament is when I think of goblins in Blood Bowl two, I think of like Yudlagar and Kiander and Moridan and Daedal, and not one of those four are in it. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it's kind of wild, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, I think tackle palming Goblin Mirror. Is making it more fun, I guess. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone's going to have the tackle palmer. Uh, so at least that part will make it fun. <laughs> and then not caring. Like, seeing as you don't have to care at all. Like, it's you and Brick and Yod and Edliod are all in it. And Tree is in it, I think. And yeah. Surgeon. So it's like really, really good players, but like, it's mostly about fun, right? Yeah. So. All the ringers are in. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot's got yeah. to be favourite, hasn't he? Elliot's at like I number two, so. number two, goblin. Number coach, one overall. Number, number one, overall. is he? Yeah. There you go then. He went ten one one with his last goblin team. <laughs> Top ten <laughs> ton, Elliot. What a fucking idiot I am. <laughs> <laughs> And something Elliot and <laughs> Magic's first. <laughs> yeah, number one. Yeah, there's no PC either. Yeah, PC and Itchen. Yeah, they're, they're two people I'd also think of as, yeah. as goblin coaches. Yeah, Itchen's really fucking good. Chunder as well. So yeah, you know, it's it's funny that like I'm definitely I'm definitely not a goblin coach, but I mean you know I'm all right at Blood Bowl, so hopefully that'll be good enough. Yeah. But yeah, obviously Elliot is an unbelievable record in it from Elliot. Uh, Chandra usually isn't uh, available weekends, right? Ah, uh, yes, of course, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was just more a comment of like him being in the top ten with them, you know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he normally can't do weekends. Not everyone took the tackle palm. I took the fucking tackle palm. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Of course I'm taking tackle palm. Fuck. Okay. Hello, Lupak. If if it didn't take like if there was a way to have done it without taking your star, I would have taken like without sorry without counting against the limit on your team. I would have taken the troll to have three trolls. But seeing as it counted as like you know seeing as it had to count as your second troll, I thought. Oh, yeah. I'd rather have a tackle pummel. But if if I could have had three trolls, I'd have taken the troll star. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna have to uh, have a look at the uh, the rosters after this. Oh, oh there you go. Skink is well, injured. <laughs> Just kill the skinks. <laughs> finally, took out a skink. Yeah, you're playing for overtime. I think that's the correct tackle. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could have called it Ripper Ball, Eody, and just let everyone take Ripper, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you'd got an admin, you could have, like, they could have ad used admin tools to, like, make the star player out of something, you know, like, they could have just made 
You could have had like a mixed race team. You could have, rather than having a goblin team, could have made like could have used a mixed race team as well. That would have been one way of getting stars in. Rather than use it, like I'm sure one of the teams has got goblins on, hasn't it? One of the mixed race teams has got goblins on, surely. Surely, maybe it hasn't. But you could I definitely think, use like. I think there's one with like yeah. underworld and. Uh, uh, oh, finally, mm -hmm. Ferenzo catching like some form of a break. It's uh, a little bit late, uh, but maybe you can dig something out of this. Mm. Oh, it's a good point, Yudi. Uh, they can't be, they're, they're building them, Bezel. So the, the Goblin Town had like unique stars that were built using custom teams. So if goblins were an option in mixed race teams, you could use goblins with something else, and then you could use. Like Underworld. Um, if there's a goblin and underworld combo, maybe yeah, you get three trolls in. Yes, yeah, so then you could like use the warp stone troll as the uh, as the star, and then and things like that. So there, there would have been ways maybe to have done things, but you know, who cares? <laughs> who cares? It is what it is, and it it should yeah, be it should be just... fun. Yeah, I'll make I'll make it to you, mummy. <laughs> Four teams in this DLC. God, Blood Bowl Three is going to be. A, is that? Did you see Lupo? Blood Bowl Three's got a release date now. Uh, yeah. February the twenty third. Luckily, four more months of this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, That's hopefully, ho like hopefully, Blood Bowl Three, they'll have fixed some of the things wrong with it. Yeah. So I think, I think some of the things they're not going to fix, right? Because some of the things are just decisions they've made. That yeah. that's the annoying thing. Some things just won't get fixed because they've got no intention of fixing them. Um, but hopefully they'll fix the things like you know, hurting your eyes and being a fucking ball ache to play instead of fun to play. And yeah, hopefully you'll get Yeah, I was, I was talking to someone that had playtested for Glorious. Uh, no, I won't uh, give in for them until um, I'm victorious. And, they, and I will uh, defend. I will defend. There was some uh... Keep up the glorious work, Jim. <laughs> was I'm curious if you checked out the game Dark and Darker. Issues or what is what do you call it? That uh, they were like, nope, this is a choice. So yeah. this stats and it's like but we're the community that have kept the game alive for 15 years. I think we know how to play the game and what works and what doesn't. Yeah. Well, that was the thing, wasn't it? There was the there was the like document that Inarian made with like all these yeah. people with thousands of hours, and and a lot of the results were like, "Fuck you, we're not even going to consider it." Like you know, p more yeah. polite than that. But that was that was the gist of what they were saying on a lot of them. And the, the, uh, that uh, document actually, like, they started looking at it after the second round. Um, yeah. Of, uh, um, so, like, that did eventually get some bearing, but it's like. Glorious. Fuck, no, I won't go give in until I'm victorious. Public and I will defend. Without, like, I will defend. A look at the criticism. And Nobody the cares from the about first goblins. Watch. <laughs> it's just so. Like, yeah, why are you having a public? <laughs> yeah. but, but they re like, you know they replied to it and yeah and, and like a lot of a lot of the replies were like, yeah. no, nah, no, nah, not listening. Uh, Yudi, thank you very much for staying fantastic for three glorious months. Nobody cares about goblins. And thank you very much, PA Golden Boy, for staying fantastic for five months. Uh, dark and darker. I have not. I have not checked out the game Dark and Darker. Imagine if there was a game of Dumb and Dumber, that'd be good. I wish that they'd uh, re-implement the, uh, the Night Goblins for, uh, for Blood Bowl 3. I, that's my favorite type of Goblin. Mm. The, the whole futuristic, apocalyptic, Skins for goblins is not really my my jam. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Apocalyptic. <laughs> uh, dark and darker. They said needs one or two more years before it's a decent game. Somebody says. 
It looks alright, but the problem the problem with video games is um, I don't really like them. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher CCL grind of sweat. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's only so much time, isn't there? And it's like, I, the you know, like I'm not really that into video games. I'm really not that into video games. And then, which sounds silly, doesn't it? But. Like, Blood Bowl was different because it's Blood Bowl, but, you know, I've played in tabletop forever, so, like, yeah. I'm not really a, I'm not really that much of a video game. And, and then, all, like, you know, if you split your attention between, you know, loads of games, you're not going to get anywhere either, are you? So, mm -hmm. the only thing, the only thing for me, I think, is, uh, is Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, no, I've <laughs> noticed uh, that exact uh, thing the last couple of weeks. I've Obviously, been playing less Blood Bowl uh, and uh, been playing more um, EU4 and Victoria 3 and some World of Warcraft. And it's like, I really don't. Uh, and I'm unemployed and on sick leave. Like, and I don't have time to keep those four games up. Like, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. I don't do anything except play video games and I don't have time to do that. Like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Dabumi. Yeah, loads of people are like that. You know, loads of people are like they they just they have loads of games and they just play them all for a few hours and then they're done, aren't they? That's what most people are like. Yeah. Um, there you go, Tom Schnitz. Uh, Try yeah. Factorio. I haven't. I think Fash liked Factorio, didn't he? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, big well, one. Well, the second break for Enzo. Um, good news is that skinks are fast. Oh, there's another Kaz! Oh my god. Hello. Oh my god. Well, this is by far the best turn in the game for Enzo. Like, yeah. Hands down. Yep. And he can he can run away. I think before he made the block with the uh, Saurus, he probably should have run away no, from this guy. No, I uh, won't give in. The, the, just the way he's rolled with that Saurus so, uh, with and the Croxy go so far. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're right. Like it's, it's one thing to not. Um, I'm not sure about that. Like, I mean, I get keeping it central, but like, why not get it completely out of basing range? Um, well, anyway, we can just. Oh, now he's taking care of that, and now it's central. So now it's now it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. A yeah. high train, glorious. Thank you very much, Ansi, for staying fantastic for thirty-one. Uh, glorious. Break. Wow. Oh, 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 fucking <laughs> um. Yeah, high train. That's amazing. Oh my god. Oh, now we get this uphill as well. Another removal <laughs> from the uphill. Gets him off claw, doesn't it? So it, it was a good one. Yeah. Block. I. I, I uh, don't understand why he didn't take the boat down. Um, like, for yes. uh, from yes. Antimod's point of view, you have to want to claw that, right? Yes, you have to take the boat down and then claw him. Yeah, that's cr a crazy, an absolutely crazy yeah. um, thing. Unless he's gonna like try and some kind of crazy chain here. Like, I guess he could fill in this slot and then chain him to there, and then you know, like block him off to get him up, but it doesn't not, not that achieve yeah, anything no. more than a fucking claw might hit. So yeah, yeah, that's really that was really fucking weird. Really fucking weird. Nearly eight beaver pregnancies as well. Yep, amazing. Thank you, Nancy. Um mm. Lizards. What a turn for lizards that isn't it? Disgusting. Yeah yeah. Bro him right back into the game because it was looking it was looking rough. Yeah, it really was, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. brace up the claw blitz on the crocs, which... Um, ah, maybe that's what, so that's what he wanted. Maybe, maybe he wanted to claw the saurus. Ah, the crocs. And so has to be happy that he's clawing the crocs <laughs> instead yeah. of the saurus. Yeah. Given how that crocs is performed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I definitely want to let the crocs keep hitting. He's been so fucking bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow, and there's the power the... on the block, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's alive. Yeah. Yeah, and the, and the thing uh -oh. is with video games as well, like, you know, War Tales, like, you know, that came out and, 
Mr. Yemendem gifted me it, and it's like, but the problem is, <laughs> the problem is not, not to be ungrateful or anything. Like, I like Battle Brothers, you know? Like, I like Battle I know I like Battle Brothers. I know how to play a Battle Brothers, and I like Battle Brothers. So there's, the, like, you know, the, there's a lot less motivation than to play a new game that's like it that I might not like, yeah. and I don't know how to play. So, like, and some people are just, like, want to buy video games all the time, don't they? Whereas I'm, like, I'm just not yeah. really a video game Person. Now that I bought Victoria 3, like that was a year that I've waited for years on. And I wasn't even sure I was going to buy it. And then I looked at someone playing it, um, which I all, hardly never do. And I like sort of spontaneously bought it mm. after having looked at it for years. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's like, yeah, all right, now I bought this. I'm not going to buy anything else for like five years except Blood Bowl because <laughs> I have my games, right? Mm. And as I said, like, but it's hard enough to, to find the time to play all of them properly. Yeah. Uh, well, that was uh, glorious, not even getting uh, foul appearance on in that blitz. Yep. Um, so we can actually start progressing <laughs> right on time. Right on schedule. Yep, yep. We're, and like, it only takes like three turns to bang it in, doesn't it, with this guy? So yeah. From one end to the other in three turns is pretty disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> is that sure feel on it? Yeah, sprint and sure feel. Yeah. So that's why he's... So he's done his one GFI was, now. Yeah, so he's exactly. In, yeah. He's in, in two turns if he wants to be. I don't think he should have GFI'd, honestly. I think it was... I guess it maybe it gets him out of range. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what he's Yeah, it now. does. Yeah, it gets him completely out of range. But then it puts him into range of this one, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's uh, where this Saurus comes in to play. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll let him off then. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a bit dodgy, though. Oh my well, god! Well, you that. say that, but he's not dodging at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a bit dodgy, right? Because look, look what you can do here is you could double. He, I'm not saying he will, but he could double GFI this guy, then chain the this guy here, and then punch this guy, and then hit the or punch oh, this yeah. guy and hit the ball. He's not doing it. I didn't think he'd do it. Like it's probably not even a good idea, but it was possible. To have, uh, yeah, to have I did, so yeah. Chain, chain. He didn't even have to do all of that, did he? Uh, he probably had to because oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah, won yeah, a yeah, with this yeah, guy, yeah, don't you? So. No, it... mm, yeah, yeah, you're right. But I mean, it's probably better just to blitz this guy and, and then, you know, move in front anyway, to be honest. Mm. Or, or take him back so you've got a strength four. Might yeah, go having point. him as the safety is even even but stronger um but if you're doing that then aren't you blitzing with the tackler to just force the one in six off of that so like forcing the reroll i don't know i don't know well i mean he's he knows his game plan right either he's blitzing with that guy or the tackler on a skink <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there's no one else. Everyone else is just a filler. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Do you know what? It's it's ten years ago today that in the, that I watched the In Betweeners movie, which I imagine I watched when it came out. My ex loved In Betweeners more than anything. It was 2011 that it came out. Why didn't I watch it when it came out? That's weird. I'm sure. I was sure I watched it at the cinema. I'm like, I'm literally sure I watched it at the cinema. That's so weird. I would have. I would have bet a lot of money that I saw that. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure I did see the cinema. That's so weird. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like I definitely watched it at the cinema, but it's it's it says on Facebook it was ten years ago. Can you maybe I just watched it again. Maybe I just watched it again. Uh, maybe maybe yeah. that's it. Maybe I just watched it again. That that's. You screen this right. without it being a sideline glitch. Um, probably not. Probably not. This looks fucked, isn't no. it? As much as he, as much as he removed all of those 
all of these players. He hasn't yeah. got a lot, has he, with this this guy being down, this guy stunned, this guy out of the way. Yeah. I think you almost had to sacrifice the... Uh... Oh, he could blitz with us with a with a crocs to chain him into there, but then it's still only one day because the guards. That's not good. Yeah. So you just blitz with him and then you're down. forced to do this and then sideline change. Yeah, pretty much. He's got sidestep, so like the sideline cage isn't isn't that bad, is it? But yeah. you can get you can get like yeah. trapped on the sideline yeah, potentially. Yeah. Like the good thing here is that it's a sideline cage against an air goal and not like any race that can get anywhere. Yeah. So like they're all slow as fuck and can't get in the way. Um, barring the armor break on that um, front piece. Yeah, I mean they can they can get they can double they can like double GFI and jam in and everything on you. Like it, it can be it can be very tricky. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, and you might have to score early, but then giving them a two turn isn't that bad either, is it? So like, yeah, it's... I think you're looking at scoring at all. Um, yes. So, yeah. yeah, that's the biggest thing, isn't it? Against no and often against Nogo, you can just be uh, just be happy that you score at all because yeah, they're not that likely. Oh, this is a, that was a brilliant move at the end. I, I thought he yeah, was based on was, tackle, was. but he wasn't. So it, he was no, it was. He made he the was. dodge first, uh, and then he made uh, the dodge and the GFI. Amazing yeah. rolls from the loner. Yep. Um, because that, yeah, was, that, that uh, is incredible. Way outperforming uh, his salary. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, I, 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 the, the thing that I'm really against is is GFIs with the ball when you don't have a reroll. Like, mm. that's my <laughs> that's my biggest gripe with GFIs. Like. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't make... notice that, Daedal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to make the most GFIs per like minute playing Blood Bowl by far <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, when I started playing. But like, you learn things, right? <laughs> or you're supposed to. No, I don't know if you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you don't, then why are you trying to do anything at all? You're not trying to evolve. It's... You're trying to have fun and be, yeah, a, be a filthy fun, fun having learning and being getting better. Not for some people. For some Stay people, it's same. fun to be shit forever. And then if anyone says, "Surely this isn't fun," you say, "No, it's just for fun. Stop being such a tryhard." <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, there's a there's a removal. I mean, personally, I don't have fun dicking around. Like, I think it's shit, and I hate it. I absolutely, yeah. I, uh, like, you know, I absolutely he hate it. He says playing Minecraft for <laughs> Yeah, but I'm still going to be, like, the best at Minecraft. I'm still going to be the I'll best Minecrafter that ever kidding. was. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely going to be the number one worldwide player of Minecraft. Well, we're looking at some two pluses with the... Fucking skink that failed his two pluses the first time around. So, yeah. um, hope he's learned a thing or two about a thing or two. Um, yeah, no. So obviously, Minecraft's different because it's just like a chill out game, isn't it? But like, you know, like multiplayer games like this where it's competitive. I, like, I, I, I have yeah. to be competitive. I can't just, uh, I can't. Like to me, that's not. Be, and that's not fun. Like this fun having thing is not fun for me. So yeah. you surely you've got to make the extra two. How many dodges are there? One, two, three, four dodges with dodge or two dodges out. Hmm. Let's go to the Samba mobile and see what Samba says. Two without is better. So the, the with with yeah, looking at eighty eight or eighty. Um. Like with there for, with the dodges, and then yeah. without you look at ninety two. If you put yeah. so it, so it's more likely if you put in the reroll, but you're only sixty nine percent to do it without the reroll. Yeah. So it depends. Like I guess you've got three, so you just do the. You, I guess you'd go through yeah, tackle I mean, because you've got three rerolls. Taking, the, taking the attrition blitz. Uh, that was what I was gonna ask before, but 
uh, didn't have time. So yeah, we're we're freeing up the midfield um, before we're uh, we're doing this, trying to remove anything, and then just, now we're just trying to score. Yeah, because that's the thing. Your only chance is uh, your only chance oh, is also Butter has received a ticket. Four. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, your only chance to win is overtime, isn't it? Like, is winning overtime. So yeah. there is a certain amount of power in in holding on to that. Reroll, yeah. um, and like you're thirty percent use the reroll if you go through tackle, and you're only twenty percent use the reroll if you go. Yeah, is it is it tackles. worth like those four percent to score? Mm, no. It's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. You are like fifty percent more likely to use your reroll. Well, there you go. He made the dodges. Didn't have to use the team reroll. <laughs> when, he stopped, when he stopped, I was like that pop dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but no, he just badly stopped. <laughs> that was great. I just run through and stop, see what happens. Dramatic pause. Glorious <laughs> old cheerleaders. Gotta love that. Extra extra marks for Enzo there with the old cheerleaders. <laughs> oh, both KOs back. Oh, that is massive. That was like Enzo's big break of the half as well, getting those two KOs. Yep. Um, so now I've got 10 versus 8. Uh, but, so yeah, of, but of course, if, en if Enzo wins the toss, he just wins, right? Without, without skink, probably. Yeah. He's very high odds to just win if he wins the toss. I mean, depending on what happens these two terms, obviously, removal-wise. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then there's, there is the chance There is the chance as well that Anton scores, isn't there? Yeah, that too. Just wins 2-1, doesn't go all the time. It's, it's very hard to score in two turns with without anything crazy for Nurgle. A couple of threes. Mm. Imagine this is down to, uh, to four movable players, and even that is a stretch with Blizzard's row. Mm. Um, what's what's movable? Um, which is why he's setting up so deep. Mm. So like, force three if I tag. This kink has two chances to die from a rock. That too. Wow, I'm so low energy today. Mm. Sorry about that. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> I'm always low energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that skink has two chances. I was literally falling asleep doing a. Uh... Doing one of them, like the match the other night, I was literally falling mm. asleep during it. I might, the one that you did after we left. Yeah, I might, I might do it. I might redo it again. Like I might just do it again because I was literally, I, like I was literally, like I, I was coming back and like opening my eyes and like the ball had, had moved teams and I didn't even know how it had happened. And, stuff. <laughs> yeah. and like there's just there's just big periods of like no commentary as I'm just literally like you know asleep. Yeah. <laughs> no, as. Like I, I noticed that especially like after that much energy energy used, I was like completely drained after those two games. Yeah. So yeah, I, I was like when when PC left as well, I sort of felt like maybe I should stay. I was like no, I I, I can't. <laughs> I, I just there's no way I can. Fair enough. Um, they're Nurgle are bad at winning. They're like well, they're, they're the best at fighting, right? Like at high TV. They're the best at fighting, and uh, Nurgle is one of the worst teams in the game. But they are good at killing the other team. So hopefully, by the end of a Nurgle game, if you're the Nurgle team, you're the only team on the pitch, and therefore you win by default. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, they're they're pretty bad at winning. Um, early on, they're 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 good at losing, <laughs> and, then, and then later on, they're like they're bad at they're kind of bad at winning, but. Yeah, the, the the key thing is the uh, is that they're so good at fighting that that's that usually translates them being good at winning. Um, but but even then, like they're not good at winning close games. Like they they've got no plan B. Their their plan, their, but their plan A is pretty strong. At high yeah. TV. That's what we're seeing here. Like even this bare bones snuggle team uh, has removed four five players. Cast five players. Yeah, yeah, because uh -huh. the, the Apple worked in it on a Saurus there. Uh, 
yeah. completely missed when it happened. But then I saw a, a, I saw a Soros in reserve and thought, well, better not mention that because I didn't see when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I just happened uh, on the Venus Bridge. <laughs> Almighty did a thing there. Mm. The problem is, uh, Uruk Bai, if it's in if it's in Blood Bowl uh, 2020 at tabletop, then uh, unfortunately. Oh, that's it's huge! Gone. He's got to re-roll that. Oh my god, what? He doesn't re-roll it! Mm. it Crocs instantly on the ball, maybe even blitzing the ball. Choice. Mm. Boy, howdy, like, don't you just put him in the way of the croc so that, like, he's got to work to, to base you and then you could always blitz him free and stuff. That was, I, like, I kind of hated the GFI, but if you do the GFI, you have to re-roll it. Um, yeah, so Uruguay, if it's tabletop, then uh, Nurgle are horrendous because they're not good at fighting and they're terrible at winning games and they're just, all they can do is lose. They are literally the worst team in, uh, in Blood Bowl 2020 rules. They are terrible. So... Yep. If you if you really love the minis and like you really like them, then you might you know it might be okay for you. But they are absolutely unequivocally unequivocally horrendous. And like, uh, it's arguable you could say goblins are worse, but for me, Nurgle are the absolute worst team in. I mean, Nurgle. I mean, goblins have a fun factor to them as well. Yeah. That Nurgle simply doesn't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, they're really bad in, in, in Blood Bowl 2020. They're like really everything they got everything they're good at got nerfed into the ground. It got taken away. Yeah. And then on top of that, their rotters got nerfed into the ground. Yep. Yeah, they're, they're horrendous. <laughs> Horrendous. Mm. Yeah, I guess you just don't want to take another claw mighty hit on another Soros. Mm. Oh yeah, there's vampires. Vampires are really bad as well, aren't they? But you know, like it's they're they're really bad. So what can you do here? You can block. So Man, this this fucking Crocs in the way is terrible. Like, and he just wouldn't have been yeah. in the way if he if he just yeah. hadn't made that GFI, or if he'd rerolled the GFI. Yeah. Um, look how much better is if he if he doesn't if he doesn't do that, then he can just punch punch hand off blitz through score. Yeah. That's uh, it's easy. It was a shit choice, not rerolling. Yeah, or, or just GFIing, like you know, just do one of the two. Yeah. Either don't GFI or re-roll it. Yeah. So he can what he could he could one D, yeah. And then. one D. And then he can two D here because he can put this. Oh yeah, 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 the rudder is. And two D him. And then. Oh god, he's pushed him there. What the yeah, fuck? so he's blitzing the super skink. Yeah, but he's got sidestep. Oh, god. Yeah, but he doesn't give a fuck. Oh god. So now what, you dodge away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so you can dodge back. I mean, it's either that or it's a 1D blitz with a uh, guaranteed dodge off. So I mean, It'd be I a 2D it. blitz, right? If you, if you push him here, then you no. go and you blitz. Yeah, but that's... Oh yeah, because so you're guaranteed. Yeah, you're guaranteed a dodge, but at least it's a three plus. Whereas yeah. now you have to power base it, or it's going to be. Well, just roll perfect dice, and it's no problem. Yep. We're idiots. Uh, Do you double G if I make it a three D? That's the question. Now they haven't used a reroll. Because you have to <laughs> see, you <laughs> have to, <laughs> you have to power this guy really. Like you have to reroll this. Because it's the winning the game. Oh, he gets the pow. As I said, perfect dice. Perfect dice. I hate, I hate the way Antonov finished up this game, but... Yeah. He finished it up then. Gets the cas. Oh my god. It's over even if he fails the GFIs yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Is it just one GFI? Or two? Two GFIs, okay. There you go. 
when you put in the reroll, probably instantly, you know, just because like winning is winning yeah. in normal time is just so good, isn't it? Like, you, it's yeah, so you dangerous. Know, you game where you don't like. Yeah, it's, it's the the, the, the and having the rerolls for overtime is one thing, but if if he wins the toss, he just score like you can't stop that skink basically, right? So it's just too dangerous. You're just almost certainly losing fifty percent of the time if you don't win in normal time, because yeah. like, how on earth do you stop that skink? So I think you you put in the reroll instantly there, um, but there you go. Well, um, Anton that was Abt. A depressing shit game. <laughs> <laughs> well, congrats to him. Yeah, I guess it was depressing and shit for for Enzo, but but I, I don't know. I thought it was all right. Like you know, neither team was that good, and so it was interesting for a while, wasn't it? But yeah, eventually the the Nurgle did get the attrition that they they needed, and uh, and it became. Pretty easy, and they got the two turn. Yeah, just Kazim. Just Kazim's definitely the best way. And uh, yeah, there you go. So yeah, congrats, commiserations. Thank you very much, Dadel. Glorious having you on. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Always happy to be here. So uh, hope you feel the same way, having watched the YouTube video. Press <laughs> like and subscribe, and uh, stay fantastic. Stay. <laughs>